This is Tony Mancuso from GoPSUSports.com. It's Tuesday again. We're here with Jack Crawford. You, the fans, are the reporters today. So let's go ahead and get started with the questions. Jack, how are you today? I'm good, man. I'm good. All right. The first one we have is from Joseph in Hazleton. What's it like playing for a legend like Joe Paterno and going through some of his practices? It's, a, it's, it's definitely a one-of-a-kind experience. You know, uh, I heard so much about him before I came here. Not, much, not so much when I was back in England, but... I definitely heard a lot about him before I got to the college and uh, I didn't really understand what was so unique about him. Coming here, you can understand that he's, he's a different guy, old fashioned, old school, doesn't take, you know, doesn't take, <laughs> he doesn't take crap from anybody. He doesn't, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a unique person and it's, 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 a, it once, it's a once in a lifetime experience to get to play for somebody like that, so you know. Is he, t is he tough at practice? Yeah, yeah, he's definitely tough. He definitely uh, can't think of much positive things he says at practice. He's definitely uh, he's definitely hard on all, all the players, but um, you know it's it's all for the improvement. He's he's definitely a coach that likes to challenge somebody's toughness, you know, mental toughness, physical toughness, and he's not going to back off. The next question is from Brandon in Bethlehem. He is wondering how difficult it was to stop Alabama's running game. He uh, is wondering, was it play calling by the defense, or was it really they were just that talented? Um, I think it was, you know, it was, I think that the play calling was there. It was a good play calling. Um, they are a talented team. I wouldn't say, you know, they out talent. You know, it was too too talented for us, but it was just a. We we got exposed in a sense that our tackling was off, and you know, we we could have done a better job fundamentally being stronger and hitting the right gaps. You know, was, we, we were out of position a lot of times. And, he, you know, the running back, I'll give it to him. He's a very talented running back, one of the best I've ever seen. And he's a strong guy. It's really hard to bring down. So, you know, it was a, it was a tough game. But on top of that, you know, they're a talented team, number one in the country. So it just wasn't our night. Speaking of tackling, we have a question on that, actually. Uh, how do you prepare yourself for tackling in a game at, on the practice field? That is a question from somebody in Lockhaven. Um, it's, it's, it's you know we go we, we tackle in practice, you know we tackle in we tackle in all the time. You know in practice we have different drills during practice to improve on tackling. And I'm sure that's going to be emphasized this week, but it's um, when it comes down to it, I mean tackling's tackling and. You know, you, you have to be able to put yourself in the best position possible to bring somebody down, especially when you're playing somebody so tough, you know, it, it gets harder to bring somebody down. So um, it's just more to do with positioning and, you know, learning where you have to be. And a, a game like this is good, again, because it exposes, you know, our weaknesses. And tackling's our weakness, but I'm sure that we're going to get better, like, as of this week. Let's switch gears a little bit. Steve from Pittsburgh wants to know what it's like playing football at Penn State with your family back home in England. Um, it's, I guess it's an interesting scenario because my, my family back home don't necessarily understand the sport fully, haven't been around it, and I myself have already been around it for five years. But um, it's, it's, it, you know, it's fun. They, they, they keep up with what I'm doing over here. They, they, you know, they talk to me on the phone always. I always call my mom before the games. You know, Saturday before a game, just to like, just so she could wish me good luck. You know, it's kind of like a uh, superstitious thing. But um, you know, it's 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 interesting, and they they you know they support me, so it's it's good. Now, I know your brother came last year for a game, the Ohio State game. I think is that right? Is, is any of your family members have plans to come this year? You know, what my my mom and my other brother was supposed to come out uh, sometime in November, uh, maybe late October, but. Uh, I'm not sure because it's so expensive. My mom told me that she might, you know, not be able to afford it this year. Maybe next year, but uh, yeah, she she uh, hopefully she'll be able to come out. But it's expensive, you know. You mentioned the fact that you uh, have only played football for five years. You, you background in basketball. Michelle from Lockhaven would like to know how much basketball do you play in your spare time? Oh, right. Uh, when I have spare time, I <laughs> I like to mostly sleep in that time. But uh, you know, during the summertime is usually when I was played most basketball. I played in the IM league last summer. You know, it was fun. You know, we we played. But then the the championship game was during the first day of camp, so we didn't get to win the championship. But uh, 
it was, you know, I tried to play as much as possible, you know. I tried to keep in touch with the sport, but uh, I also like to get my rest. So, you know. Who else on the team is, is good at basketball? we got a couple of people. Uh, Eric Lattimore, he's pretty good. Um, Derek Moy, he's good. I think Brett Brackett's good. I've never seen him play. Um, who else? Brandon Beecham, I played with him. He's pretty good. Um, there's a few people that's good at basketball. I can't think about it right now. But there's definitely a couple of people. I think Andrew Zerber's pretty good too. Well, now you've got the Alabama game in the rearview mirror. What did you learn about the defense, and what are you working on this week of practice heading into the Kent State game? Um, you know, going out to Alabama, you know, with what happened, we can push through it. You know, we're a tough defense, and no matter what people think, what people say, we're going to come out here, we're going to put 100% into playing Kent State. You know, that's behind us now. We're not gonna we're not gonna dwell on it. You know we're not gonna feel sorry for ourselves. We're gonna come out and we're gonna prove to everybody that we can you know we can be the team that everybody wanted us to be and expects us to be. And you know that's that was a bad game. You know we're gonna let that go and we're gonna keep a positive mindset and we're gonna keep moving forward from here. How eager are you to get back on the field on a Saturday and really uh, be aggressive with a team like Kent State? It's a yeah, it's definitely a feeling of, you know, you want to get back on the field. You want to prove something. You want to prove that, you know, that that game at Alabama didn't, you know, didn't happen or, you know, we're not that, we're not, you know, we're not that bad or something like that. But, you know, it's really, you know, you just have to let it go and you have to, you know, focus on this week and get ready for Saturday. And, yeah, we are anxious to get back on the field. Trust me, the whole team is anxious. All right, Jack, we appreciate your time. Thanks very much, and make sure to check in next week with your questions for another player. Thanks. This is Tony Mancuso on GoPSUSports.com.